Hi. Hi. So one of my biggest asked questions is, how do I take myself portraits? So I'm gonna show you. So first things first, what you're gonna need. A camera, if that wasn't obvious enough. I have the Canon Rebel T7i. I've owned it for a little over a year and it's absolutely the best camera I've ever owned. It is so good at everything it does and not only that, but it has Bluetooth pairing, which is very important when it comes to self-portraits. A tripod. I have the ESDDI. It goes for about $35, so if you're on a budget, this is a good one. And something to take your photo with. Newer cameras tend to have a Bluetooth pairing, which means you can have the camera far away and still see the photo and take it from your phone. But if yours doesn't, you can always use a remote. They cost about $8, and I promise you won't regret it. Of course, you can always just use the timer, but most of the time, you're out of focus and it's more than a hassle than anything. If you're curious about the lenses I use, I currently use the 28mm lens. It's a wide angle, but it's great for everything, especially self-portraits. They aren't widely known, but they are so useful. The only downside is, is they're much more expensive than my previous lenses, but it's worth every penny. In the past, I've used the standard 18x55, which came with a camera. Not my favorite, but it zooms, which can be useful to some. An off-brand 35mm, which is super affordable and was my absolute favorite for a really long time. However, it's a bit noisy and doesn't always keep the focus, but it gets the job done. Then there's everyone's favorite, but mine. The almighty 50mm. I never used it because it's super close and most of the time I can't fit what I want to due to living in a 500 square feet apartment so it didn't work for me. But don't get me wrong, it's really good for shooting close portraits and it's probably one of the cheapest Canon lenses, but it isn't for me. Next, you're gonna need an idea. You may already have one, you may just need some headshots, or you have no idea at all. I'm like the last one. 99.572% of the time. I don't have too much space, and it always seems like I never have enough light, and I don't really like going outside. I'm just keeping it real. So, I've used every inch of my apartment. From my balcony window thing, from the chair that I spent way too much money on and sat in twice, and that wall, and my bed, and my record player, and my fridge, and my bathtub, and bathroom mirror, my other window, and my $25 Ikea kitchen table that is in a kitchen table. And probably more than once. But it's worked. Sometimes I'll even think about what I haven't used, which has led me to create some weird stuff with knives and forks and scissors and basically whatever I can find. Lots of kitchen utensils. You don't have to pay money to create art. So once you get a brilliant idea, which you will, just give it time, you're gonna need to find the outfit, which is the most exciting part of this. So much fun, all the time. But for some odd reason, I was listening to some 80s playlists today, which gave me an 80s vibe, which made this so much easier. I guess it wasn't even by choice. It was just like a soul thing, like I knew I had to do it. Now that you have everything you need, let's take some pictures. Step one, connect your phone, set up your tripod. I don't have a clip here, so just imagine setting up your tripod. Find the best angle. There was a lot of this. It took me forever, but I did it. I think. I've yet to edit these photos. So, there's that. And make some weird faces while trying to click the button without looking. I sat in my apartment complex parking lot for 25 minutes while being stared at. This will change you. So when you've decided enough is enough, pat yourself on the back and hope and pray that you got a good one out of the 347 pictures you just took. Now for the fun part. Here we go. Grab your SD card, plug it in your laptop, if you didn't know that was what you're supposed to do. Open up Lightroom and import those bad boys. Once they've loaded, it's time for you to find your style. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I've created my own present so that I can use the same filter on all my photos and just tweak it as needed. But you can always find free ones online or buy them too. I always turn up my shadows and turn down the highlights as well as turn down the exposure just a bit. I normally go lightly over the skin and maybe get rid of a few pimples. 
because I'm already fake enough. Then I'll export the ones that I like and transfer them to my phone. If I think they need a little more spice, like putting Taco Bell sauce on a taco, sometimes it's needed, other times it's not. A visco cam and add a light filter. I'm unashamed. I also spent $20 on the upgraded version and let me tell you it's worth every penny. After that, I'll keep them all to myself, admiring what I've created or posting them to the world to see, expecting a million likes for all my hard work. Hasn't happened yet, but that's fine. It's fine. A girl can dream. It goes three hours of my life. One photo. It's fine. And then, I call it a day. A victorious day. Even if that's the only thing that I got done. So worth it. Because this is my passion. And I love it so much. I wouldn't change anything about it. I could spend hours on one photo and I'd be okay with that. Photography makes me happy because I can create whatever I want, however I want it, with ideas that just pop in my head at 11 at night or from showering. And I'm like, let me get my raincoat and shower in the raincoat with a camera towards me. Because why not? And that's how you take a self-portrait.